Okay, this is a problem from China's Math Olympia in 2021. It's a geometry problem, but we're going to use a lot of trigonometry identity to solve it, right? So we're given a triangle here with size AB equal to 1, AC equal to 2. And we know that the angle B and C, the difference is 2 pi over 3. So what is the area? All right, we know that the area is actually uh, one half of the two sides, one times two, times the angle, which is sine A, right? That's going to be our answer, but we need to try to find out what is sine A. Now we're given B and C and these two sides here. So one thing we can think about is the law of sine, right? So law of sine says, the so AB, right, AB, let's change the color here, right? So this size, corresponding angle is C. So AB, so what we know is AB over sine C is going to equal AC, let's change another color here, right, this is AC, Corresponding angle is B. So it's AC over sine over B. Alright? So we know that this is actually 1, this is 2. So what we get is sine B, right? It's going to equal 2 sine C. So 2 sine C equals sine B. But we know that B is equal C plus, this is given here, right? So B is equal sine of pi, 2 pi over 3, which is 120 degrees, right? Um, plus the angle C. Now by using the, you know, the, the, the angle sum um, formula here is going to be equal sine 2 pi over 3 cosine c plus cosine 2 pi over 3 sine c all right so we know that sine 120 degrees and the sine would be positive cosine would be negative right so cosine would be negative one half this would be square root of 3 over 2 cosine c is going to be sine c. So if you move this to the left, you know, move this to the left, you're going to get uh, 2 plus 1 half, which is 5 over 2 sine c equal square root of 3 over 2 cosine c. So from here, you're going to get tangent of c, right? So tangent of c would equal so square root of 3 over 2 divided by 5 over 2, right? Which is 2 over 5 and then this cancels so square root of 3 over 5. Okay, it's good. This is what we get. Now, how this is related to, you know, the area that we're trying to find, okay? We know that the area here, let's call it, let's call it delta equal, you know, equal two cancels, right? Equal sine A. So how do we find sine A? Of course, we only know B and C. Everything here is expressed in C. So we know that A would equal 100 degrees, which is pi minus b minus c right in this case um because b is actually 2 pi over 3 plus c right and then minus c so this turns out to be pi minus uh, 2 pi over 3 is going to be pi over 3 minus 
to C. All right, great. So now we know that. And so the, the answer is going to be sine, right? Sine A happens to be sine of pi over 3 minus 2C. Again, using the trig formula here for the difference of sine, it's going to be sine pi over 3 cosine 2C and the minus cosine pi over 3 and then sine 2C. All right, we're almost there. Now we know from earlier, we know tangent C, right? So, but here we try to find cosine 2C and sine 2C. Now for those of you who are not aware of this, uh, you know, um, the angle formula here, and you, you probably need to uh, derive that. And now for now, we assume that you, you have the knowledge, right? But I can show it here. So if here the theorem that is, is nice to know, but if you don't, we, I, we're going to derive it for you. So if t equal tangent of c, right, then sine 2c equal 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square and cosine 2c would equal you know 2 sorry I, I got it wrong this would be cosine 2c okay so cosine 2c equal that and sine 2c equal 2t over 1 plus t square all right so assume you have this knowledge right we're going to prove it in a minute then you can continue here right so this is equal right sine pi over 3 which is 60 degree you know that the square root of 3 over 2 cosine 2c you're going to use this formula here it's going to be 1 minus t square so 1 minus tangent c is given here right if you square it it becomes 3 over 25 right and over 1 plus 3 over 25 all right and then minus cosine pi over 3 cosine 60 degree is going to be 1 half right and sine 2c here by looking at the formula here is going to be 2t so 2 square root of 3 over 5 over 1 plus 3 over 25 all right do some algebra here all right so let's uh, <coughs> let me change another corner here let's modify multiple 25 over there right this is going to be 28 over so it's going to be square root of 3 over 28 and this is going to be 22 minus this two cancels right and then you multiply 25 over there is going to be 28 but here you're going to have 5 square root of 3 all right and here you cancel you're going to get 11 so what you get is 28 11 square root of 3 minus 5 is going to be 6 square root of 3. And you simplify this, right, by um, divided by 2. So it's going to be 14 and 3 square root of 3. That's going to be the answer for the area, right? However, for those who do not know this formula, let me show how to prove that, right? So you know that let's prove the formula here okay so we know that sine let me erase that okay sine 2c right would equal 2 sine c cosine c right that you know right so there's a trick you know for any angle there is a equality here sine square c 
plus cosine square c equal to one, right? So here's a trick, all right? Let's change the color here. So this one you can say equal two sine c cosine c. So then this is going to be one, right? You put a one in the denominator, right? And uh, and what is one? One is actually sine square c plus cosine square c two sine c cosine c, right? Now for this fraction, you divide it, right? Cosine square on both numerator and the denominator. So okay on the on the first one you you divide cosine square c on both sides right so this become two sine c divided by cosine c here you divide cosine square this is going to be sine square c divided by cosine square c plus one so earlier we said that t is equal tangent c right so that is this is exactly here this is exactly tangent right this is t and this is t square so what we get is 1 plus t square and 2t right so cosine 2c you're going to use the same trick so cosine to c equal cosine square c minus sine square c right that's you assume you, you know this is a formula here and then you divide it by one here right which is this one so is equal to cosine square c minus sine square c divided by sine square c plus cosine square c again if you divide cosine square c on both numerator and the denominator you're going to get 1 minus t square 1 plus t square this is a very useful formula you know and uh, this actually helps to solve um, the original problem from china's olympia right so we get the answer the, tri the triangle area is a uh, is this one all right okay so that's it uh, you know for this problem i hope you enjoy it